Hey everybody, I'm Andy DeKenner with Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So today we are gonna be looking at a brand new 2020 T680. It's a showroom tour today. We don't have to worry about all the noises from outside. And plus it's raining. So kind of lucky we got a really nice dry showroom here. So this is a brand new truck that is sitting in stock here at Inland Kenworth in Winnipeg if you are interested in it. All my contact information is below in the description of the video. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and we'll go and check out this truck. All right, so here we are at the truck. Let's uh, dive into the details and see what it's all about. So like I said, this is a 2020 T680. Uh, we have this truck set up at a 232 inch wheelbase. Um, so it's a nice size for hooking up to a reefer or a dry van. Uh, it is the 76 inch tall sleeper. We'll jump inside there in a moment after we do the exterior tour. Uh, looking at the front here, we have the factory painted bumper. Now we can get that in a stainless or a, a chrome, or we can also do it in a in-mold color, which would be similar to this right there. So it also has the fog lights, as you can see. Uh, we order it from the factory with the uh, winter front clips and the factory installed winter front. So it's a lot uh, less expensive to do it that way than to order it uh, without and then have to do it at the dealership after the fact. Uh, this hood is a three piece design. So you have seams kind of running up at the top here. So if you do have to replace the sides or uh, if you have any damage, you can just paint up to that point and not have to redo the whole hood. Uh, we also order it with the dual uh, hood mounted mirrors. These are, they can adjust and you can get them in heat or you can also get this uh, with a chrome pod on the back here. So this is more of a, this spec of truck is a little bit more of a basic uh, spec. So it's more of a fleet uh, or a more cost conscious spec. So just keep that in mind when looking at this. This is uh, uh, just one way to build it. We can customize it and make them a lot fancier, uh, but this is quite nice as it is. So let's continue uh, on the tour here. All right, uh, so up here we have the motorized heated mirrors, which are a breakaway style with a painted uh, mirrors. Uh, you can also get this in chrome if you prefer. Uh, we did the partial chassis fairings. So running all the way to the back here is your chassis fairings. Um, your batteries are mounted in below here and there's six bolts uh, right here, two, three, four, five, six, and then that pops out and then your batteries are in behind there. Uh, there's your def tank and then your fuel tank over here. So we ordered the truck with the emergency hatch on the passenger side with a window in it. The driver's side is just a solid wall with the polished vent. And then you have the standard uh, equipment with the 76 inch bunk, you get that upper window. Now Kenworth recently changed the, uh, the sleeper extenders. Uh, there used to be a piece of plastic that kind of went down here and then extend it out and it kind of went out that way. Um, so they just went to the standard one piece rubber. It's more molded to the, uh, to the truck and it's a little bit less costly to replace a few less parts needed. Uh, that is a high uh, risk area as far as getting damaged with jackknifing. Uh, you don't wanna have added costs if you have to replace that. So we've re reduced your costs if you do have a jackknife by getting rid of that plastic piece in there. Another thing that we've changed is the roof piece up there uh, used to have notches uh, standard on all trucks and you would get a, a second piece that would insert in it uh, to kind of close it off like that. Uh, and that's only really needed when you have dual exhaust running up the back of the truck. Now, if you saw the video that I did uh, on that purple T680 a few weeks or a month or so, or so ago, uh, that one had the notches in it. Uh, to accommodate the dual exhaust. But uh, Kenworth has changed the design so that it is a solid piece. So again, fewer parts to replace. 
Uh, it's just one solid piece if there is damage up there. Uh, so looking at the back here, your fuel tanks, they're mounted back here. They're non-polished, uh, not needed because they're, they're hidden. 120 gallons on this side. I believe we have 120 or 110 on the other. We'll just double check in a second. Um, sorry, it'd be probably a 135 over there just with the depth tank being on this side. Um, we have your catwalk, your steps, your access steps, the grab handles, of course, at the back here. And then we also put on the uh, rearward facing lights uh, right there. Kenworth AG 400 L suspension is on this truck. So that's the four bag with a 54 inch axle spread. Uh, we have the Michelin X multi energy D's. So there's X line and X multi. Uh, the line is for line haul multi is kind of for on road, off road, uh, it's multi-purpose. So it's kind of the difference there. Uh, these are level one Alcoa rims. So you can hit that with the, uh, the polish. Uh, they're not the Durabrites, but uh, you can get these a lot shinier if you uh, want to put the effort into it. Uh, we have, like I said, the AG400L, so this is four bag suspension, and it is drum brakes all the way around. Uh, we can order them with disc brakes. We just order a lot of our stock with, uh, with drum. Uh, it's quite popular for, uh, for the region here. We got the Holland Air Slide fifth wheel. So uh, that's a 24 inch air slide. We have uh, about an eight inch ride height. I believe it's 7.8 uh, inches. Uh, ground exhaust, so there's the grass burner, as we call it. It also has an exhaust port here. This is for the factory installed uh, S-Bar heater for the bunk. Uh, this is a 120 gallon fuel tank on this side. And here is that emergency door I was telling you about with the window in it. And <coughs> You do have an access point to it there on the back side here you just pull that down and then that will open up now usually when they're new uh, i'm not going to bother trying to pry it open but uh, when they're new uh, you have to work them in a bit for them to uh, to get open or put in a nice flat piece up here and it'll pry open no problem once you unlock it uh, okay what else to look at on this side here uh, just basically like i said the side chassis fairings it does come standard with that uh, lower rubber piece and also on the bumper. So that is a standard feature. You can delete it if you want, uh, but that's just to improve your aerodynamics. Um, let's open up the hood and uh, take a look underneath. See, I'll show you what we got under here. Very easy hood to open. About 35 pounds of pressure is all that it's needed. Uh, we have the Cummins X15. It is the Efficiency Series engine. It's a 500 horsepower, 1650 torque rating. So it's a perfect 80,000 uh, pound capacity uh, or 110,000 uh, pound total capacity as far as if you're what you're pulling. Uh, remote boost terminals are underneath the hood here. We have it hooked up to a charger uh, just for the reason that we leave the uh, clearance lights on while it's in the showroom just for effect. Fuel water separator, power steering, engine oil, fill, check, power steering. You got your coolant over there, your air filter right up here. There are some uh, fuses right up in here. Uh, can I open that? That's nice and tight. So it's nice, it's all labeled right here. Uh, you have the, uh, the little pincher to pull them out. So your fuses and relays. There are more fuses on the inside of the firewall. Maybe I'll show that to you guys here in a second. All right, so looking at the firewall here, you notice how all these airlines kind of terminate right here. Uh, that's basically where all the airline stops and then it goes to an electronic system on the inside. Uh, so if there's an air leak, there's very limited airlines going into the cab. You have your air seat, your parking brake, your trailer brakes, uh, but everything else pretty much is terminating right out here. So easier to service, easier to get to. Uh, now also I showed on a previous video on the T800 from last week, the uh, wiper motors. The wiper motors on Kenworth trucks are right there. Some of our competitors will put them inside the cab. So you have to take that all apart to change that wiper motor if it wears out over time. With Kenworth, it is out in the open, easy to get to, easy to service. All right, uh, let's just take a quick look on the other side here. So over here, we have the hot side of the engine with the turbo. Uh, your HVAC system is right here. There is a little uh, piece right here that you can get all the dust out. Uh, you can see there's a little bit in there, just I guess from uh, 
rolling around in the yard and, and coming from the factory to us. Uh, if you do need to change your filter, very easy to do so right there. Uh, your headlights, they're all in behind this casing here. This, you just give it a turn and it opens up and then all your lights are inside there. I've shown that before. Uh, here is your, uh, your latch to close the hood now. So let's do that. And uh, let's go inside and check out the rest of this truck. Okay, so as you can see, opening up the door, um, hang on a second, let me just see. Is there a few other points I wanted to cover? Uh, okay. All right, oh, so the ratio on this truck is a 355 ratio. Um, it's on 11R225 tires, like I said, AG400L, level, level one rims. It is the Meritor MT40 14X3 uh, rear axle. So it's a 40,000 pound uh, differential and uh, 232 inch wheelbase. The weight of this truck is 17,797 pounds. So just about 17.8 and that's dry. So no fuel, all the oils, um, once you fill it up full of fuel, she'll be sitting just under 20,000. All right, back to the interior. So this is the Vantage interior in the tan color. So it's a really nice change from just the, the traditional gray that we uh, normally carry, but it's nice to see a little different. Uh, with the Vantage, you get the straight stitching. You can also upgrade that to the VIT where you get the diamond stitching on the door. Um, so being a truck in the showroom, there's a little bit of dirt. So uh, people are coming in and out of the truck and checking things out. So that's just the way that it is. Uh, looking at the pedals here. Oh yeah, uh, looking at the pedals here, they're all suspended. There is no clutch pedal because this is an automatic. It has a 13 speed uh, Eaton Ultra Shift transmission in here. Um, now you can also uh, access your, your fuses and panels right down here your fuse panel and your relays. Uh, now when you open that, a light engages so you can see everything. And then this panel here has everything labeled. So you just slide that back in like so. There we go. There we go, now it's in. Okay, uh, so we have the, the uh, ultra leather seats. So these are uh, a nice, soft, very comfortable seat. The GT702 series, so uh, fully adjustable. This slides out, you can tilt it. Uh, your lumbar supports, everything are in there. Something a little different on this one here is we did not order this truck with a swivel seat. So this is just a fixed uh, seat right down there on the passenger side. Let's turn on the bunk lights like so. And we'll just continue on in the tour here. So as far as the, uh, the, cab, the cabin area where you're driving, uh, you have your tilt telescopic steering wheel, the standard rubber wheel, so there's no smart wheel. Uh, here's your automatic controls right there. Uh, as far as down here, we have the truck set up with your uh, three-way locking differential. We are with a PTO switch, fifth wheel slide, air suspension dump, your spare, uh, your regen switch, your hill assist to turn it off and on when you're uh, in your automatic, air traction control to turn that off and on. Uh, here's your your cruise and your and your uh, your jakes are right up here. Uh, there is your uh, engine fan and then your trailer brakes and then an additional spare switch down there. Uh, we order with that storage pocket, Bluetooth radio with Sirius XM. You've got additional gauges here, your standard gauge cluster right in here, and then down there is all your uh, your lights, your exterior light test, your interior lights, and your your backup lights outside the truck. So very nice, very nice interior here. Lots of room. As you can see here, I can reach my hand all the way up here and there's just tons and tons of space in here. Uh, you can drop this upper bed quite easily, just pulling down on that latch and it goes down soft with those shocks. Uh, lots of room still, even if you're sitting down here. Uh, if you wanna add a little bit of light into your area here, you just turn on that light there and then you have a little bit more uh, light for, you know, filling out a logbook or whatever you want to do. Uh, on the back wall here, here's your S-bar control. Uh, you have a power uh, outlet here, 12 volt, and then you can go down in here, charge up your cell phone, keep it in there, charging off of that. Uh, your fridge, turn it off and on or right up there. Here's your adjustment for your heat and air conditioning. 
This is your lights. You can lock the door and then there's a little alarm clock. So a lot of this stuff is standard equipment uh, with the exception of this guy right here and this guy right here. Everything else, <clears throat> you do get that. Now the fridge is a drawer style fridge. So it pulls out just like so. So you got quite a bit of room in there. Now the other thing too that you can do with it, uh, there's a freezer. If you want to have a larger fridge, yoink, take that out. And the whole thing, you can stack up your, uh, your bins of food and, and whatnot for the week and uh, then you're good to go. So that's uh, a little feature if you're not using the freezer portion of the fridge. So we'll just throw that back in there. And I apologize if the camera work is a little bit, uh, a little bit shaky here. I'm kind of doing this all one handed here right now. Uh, down below is your drawers. So this is a nice deep drawer. They are removable, so you can take them in and out. And we do also install this little rubber piece on the back side, just to keep it, uh, keep it nice and tight so it's not gonna rattle and shake. Something a little different here, when we order the truck, we can option in a rotating table here. And in this case, we ordered it without the rotating table. We just did the organizing tray. There's no TV mount right here. So like I said, this is more of a uh, budget spec truck. Uh, so, but we can certainly uh, get you something a little bit more if you wanted all those features in there. Uh, down here is your drawers. This is an option too. You don't have to get drawers. You can just get open shelves. Uh, so these tubs can come out in and out of the truck and they fit nicely through the emergency hatch. So if you're filling them up and you just want to put them to the end here, uh, you can offload them from, from the truck. Um, people are wondering, where do you put a microwave? Well, that can go right up in here. Uh, these guys just pop right out like so. And you can put an inverter in it with a uh, plug-in or you can just run it off of a 12 volt right up there. There is storage right up above here, like you can see. So quite a, a large uh, bin there. You have your upper bed. So that runs all the way across there. And then there is the uh, safety net that uh, can lock into place. There's little buckles over here. Uh, another bin up top here, nice and deep. And then here is your storage closet with quite a bit of room inside there. It extends over there. I don't know if you can see if it's too, uh, too dark here, but uh, you can you know, throw some things in there if you'd like. There is an optional shelf that you can get here. We ordered it without, uh, so you can hang something that's uh, really long in there if you'd like. And then we got a little mirror, a couple more storage pockets, and that's that. So to close the, uh, the upper bed, you just push it, just like so. On some of our other models, there's a little seat belt clip that you have to get in there. A little bit more cumbersome to get to, but uh, this is a nice setup. You can just push it out of the way. Now down below, this lower bed does pop up. It's very easy. You just pull on that latch right there. The shocks lift it up for you and you have access to everything underneath the bunk here. So there's your factory installed S-Bar heater for the bunk. There's your heat and air conditioning unit for the truck when it's running for the bunk and then all the rest of the storage underneath. So if you order the truck with a subwoofer, that would go right in here. So keeping it a little bit basic gives you quite a lot of room underneath the, uh, underneath the bed here. So we'll close that up. Something I haven't shown is how to hook up the safety net on the bed. So let me show that to you guys right now. I'm just gonna put the camera down, so just bear with me. The way that you do that is the safety net is stored underneath the mattress. So you just basically lift up your mattress. It is hooked to the corner down here. It's kind of anchored in that spot. And we will pull this out all the way. There's seat belts kind of down, running all the way here and there. So now that that's out of the way, we'll do that. I'm just gonna move this over here now for a second. So the way that you do this, there is seat belt buckles and cinching clips. So you got the clips right here goes like so, goes like so. 
This one here goes in the middle, right here. This one here goes down there. And I'll flip this around so you can see on this side. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, all right, so clip right here. And the last one right up there. So there is the setup for the, uh, the safety net. So I'll just show you how much room you actually have when you're in and out of there. So a quick and easy way to get in just under your belts here and you can kind of slide in and out as you like. So here, I'll just uh, jump in there. <clears throat> how can I do this here? So quick and easy way, you just buckle yourself in. If you're running team, this is kind of the ideal, oh, the ideal way to do that. And you can go to bed and know that you're safe if uh, the brakes get slammed on really quick. And if you want to tighten it up, uh, you just pull on the little latches here and uh, it'll cinch it up a little tighter if, if that's what you need to do. So that's a little bit about this, uh, this video. So appreciate you coming by. Appreciate you uh, watching this. If you are interested in this truck, you can give me a call. All my content all my contact information is below. Uh, you can call me, you can email me, whatever you want. If you wanna check out my social media, you can just click up on the right side of your video and there's a link to my website, thekenworthguy.com and you can follow me on other platforms. You can see all of my inventory. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just click down in the bottom right corner of the screen and hit subscribe. So <clears throat> this is uh, kind of awkward here right now, but thanks for coming by the channel. I appreciate you being here. And as always, have yourself the world's best day. <laughs>